us. It's skies are looking up, sun is peeking out of the clouds. I, of course, am freezing in my house. Um, and uh, I wanted to welcome you to mobility and strength. Emphasis on mobility, but we might do a little bit of strength too. Um, one thing is, if you looked at the uh, description, I mentioned grabbing a dumbbell. I'm a dirty liar. A dirty liar. All right. Some things that you might want to grab if you have a stick or a mop or a broom, that's cool. If you have like a yoga block or like, um, you know, like a lightweight book or, uh, oh, like a cereal box, that could be good. Um, something that you can uh, use um, to sort of like hold and, yeah, I don't know. But we're going to do a lot of mobility. And um, who we have here today? Hello, Meredith. So um, if you're here, give a shout out. And uh, I'll shout out back. I'll holla at you. Holla at you. Holla at you. Holla at you. Um, so yeah, I've got like a stick and uh, some other props. I got uh, some mini fans out, but I don't necessarily know why. Um, and you also want a chair. So I'm going to like hang out here for a little bit. And if you want to go grab some stuff, um, that would be cool. So like a mopper broom, a chair, some sort of box or block, um, or something lightweight that's sort of tall, like a cereal box or a book or, um, a few old video game boxes. I don't know. Um, but I'll give you a few seconds to grab all that and then we will get started. Happy Monday. Happy February. We made it past January. We are one, we have one twelfth of the calendar down. Oh, give or take. Um, and uh, I hope everyone is having a great day. So, uh, I'm done chatting. There's not going to be a warm-up because we're all just we're just going to going to do this mobility flow, but we are going to get started. I've got sort of like a chill playlist today. It's a uh, ooh Kleenex box. I like it. That is that's an, I'm going to keep I'm going to remember that. All right, so I've got the playlist here. Uh, sort of rap heavy. It'll be good. Sort of chill. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, press. Play. So we're going to work on different areas, okay? And we're going to start with uh, some lateral hip mobility. So what we're going to do is we're going to be in a very unladylike position. Legs open wide. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our knees down. So notice when my knees are down in this 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, okay? And we're going to come back. And we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to do this a handful of times. Let's do five times on each side. This is two. I am finding myself, my butt scooting. So knee down, yep. Knee down, yep. Opening up those hips. If you can't get your knees all the way to the ground, that's okay. Be mindful of it. How far can you get them? Can one knee get a little lower than the other? Keep scooting forward. We're going to do one more time on each side. And then we're going to go back to the first side. So make sure you're in a good position and you're going to lean forward and up. Keeping your torso as straight as possible. Feel a nice little stretch in my glute at the bottom. Okay, back straight. Four. Let's do two more. Ooh. Let's get this party started. All right, let's go to the other side. Set up and down, up. Two more times. Oof. All right. So now what we're going to do, when you get on your knees, you're going to have your knees as far apart as you can. Your legs are going to go straight back, okay, so they're not out to the side, they're not caved in. So straight back in a nice little throw up position, and we're going to rock back and forth. If this is really painful on your knees, feel free to stop, grab a pillow, something to put on your knees for a little bit of cushion. I know, my knees are like, oh, I don't like 
Thank you. Keeping your back straight. You're going to feel the stretch as you move backwards. All right. So we're going to move to our first move with the block or the uh, Kleenex box. You're going to put the block um, right here. So it's not directly on your spine. It's getting closer to your sacrum. Okay? So what we're going to do is, with this on your back, you're going to do sort of like a little hydrant and then kick the leg out. And the key is you want to make sure that block does not fall over. So when people try to increase their mobility on this, what do they do? They sort of rotate like they have a dog and get on a hydrant. No, don't want to do that, okay? So rotate out as much as you can, extend the leg, come back in, and down. And we're going to do this 10 times on each leg. Do not let the block fall. This is three. The block falls. Pick it up. Catch up. Now you go five. Six. Notice I can't extend my leg all the way. Sometimes that happens. Also, I'm trying not to hit my remote. <laughs> I think this is seven for me. Keeping your torso parallel to the ground. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo! I'm gonna scooch over this way so I can do the other side. All right, here we go. This is my bad side, so we'll see if the uh, see if the block falls. Three, four, five. Six, don't let your shoulders collapse. Ah, not paying attention. Here we go. Seven. Eight. Nine. Should we feel this in your booty a little bit too? Ten. Shake it out. How are you feeling? Hopefully your hips should be uh, opening up as we speak. All right. So what we're going to start with, we're going to move into some knee and hip mobility. So I'm going to kneel on, on one leg. Now if you want to do, if you prefer to do this standing, you can, okay? But I'm going to have my foot flexed, and I'm going to lean forward and up, keeping your back straight, moving nice and slowly, okay? Again, you could be doing this standing up, okay? I'm going to do this kneeling. Do a total of 10 times. Back straight. This is getting warmed up. We're going to do some neural flossing, which is going to suck ass. All right, you're lucky. <laughs> well, if you have uh, loose hamstrings, I won't do that. Let's go to the other side. Foot flex, lean forward. This is six for me. Keep that foot flex, seven, eight, nine. One more. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lie on our back. Oh, you can see a break, right? No, this will not feel like a break. All right. What do you do? I want you to grab your knee, pull it to your body as close as you can. All right. And we're going to do 10 extensions, trying to get as straight as you can. As you can tell, for me, I have limitations. This is about as far as I can go. But we're going to do 10 of these. Okay. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on 10, I want you to hold it. I want you to press your knee towards you while pressing out with your leg. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, my leg is shaking, five, four, three, two, one. Now when I hold it here, I just want to extend, do little extensions, two, three, the end range of motion, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew, I hate those. How about you? <laughs> All right, here we go, other side. Unfortunately, you have two legs. Knee close to your chest. Here we go. Extend, flex. It's two, three, four, five. This side doesn't feel as bad. Seven, eight, nine. 10, hold it, hand pushes against leg, leg pushes against hand, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, do little extensions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Oh. How you feeling? Hope you're, uh, feel like me, that was not fun, but, oh, we're gonna keep going. So, this next one, if you have a, a, a minivan around it, you want something very light. At least I want something very light. If you don't have anything, you can just work on this without the band. That's fine too. All right, I'm going to put the band around my ankles, and I'm going to lie down on my stomach, okay? Um, keeping my core engaged to protect my back, and I'm just going to rotate outwards, okay? So, <laughs> this is what it looks like from the back side, Woo. okay? So if you don't have the band, you can do it without. Work on trying to keep your knees together as you externally rotate. So let's do a set of 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have very limited range of motion on this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, two, and one, shake it out. Ah, how you feeling? Feeling good? I like it. All right, let's keep going, shall we? All right, we're gonna work on some ankle mobility. So you gotta hold on to your mini bags. We're not gonna be using them right away, but we'll be using them in a second. So let's start. Just by doing some ankle circles. Okay, so let's do 10 each way. One, two, I'm going inward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go the other way. Ten, nine, eight, just hang out. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna grab a heavier band. I would say moderate to heavy if you can. I'm gonna put it over my toes. So first time I'm gonna grab one knee, hold on to it, providing tension between the two. I'm gonna make sure that the uh, band is closer to the ball of my foot and the toes, okay? And we're gonna do plantar flexion, so extend, so plantar flex. All right, let's do 15 of those. One, two, three, I need a new band. Can you see that? Nice little rip there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Nine, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, two, one. Now, something I want to point out. You're sort of providing tension at a slight angle, right? Ideally, you can always 
hold it like this too. And you want to make sure that as you're plantar flexing your foot, you're not like doing like any little sort of circular motion. Try to have it go straight down, okay? So I'm going to switch sides, and this time I'll hold it with my hands just for some extra challenge and to see if I can break my band. If I break my band on line, everybody gets a dollar. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, press. This is working your calves. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, excuse me. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to put it back around both feet if you haven't already. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to push my one foot away, and now I want to drag this toe towards my shin. Okay, so we're going to do 15 of those, and we're going to do a little micro hold for each one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, flexing as much as we can, six, seven, dorsiflexion, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. You know, we work our calves so much, we don't work our shins enough to counteract. And, um, you know, having good dorsiflexion is so important for having the flexibility to do proper squat form and, um, you know, other things that are related to that. A lot of times what will happen is you're limited in your dorsiflexion, so then your body starts to compensate by leaning forward or doing all sorts of other things. It's amazing. Just something off of your ankles. All right, so now we're going to really work on the other side. Here we go. One, two, really flexing as much as I can. Dorsiflexing. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can do this if you have a long band, you can always wrap it around something, and that way you have uh, a little better tension, you try to get more uh, range of motion. But if you didn't have many bands, you can do this too, because uh, we just did it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna have the band closer to the uh, tops, my feet, near the balls of my feet. I'm gonna keep my legs straight, I'm gonna sit tall, hands near my glutes, I'm just gonna rotate outward, okay? So we're gonna do 15 of those. I'm gonna go to a slightly lighter band. So don't break that one. I don't pay you a dollar. All right. Doing set 15. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. So we're gonna hit mobility. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break, shake it out, grab some water if you like. We're going to work on some more hip mobility. Finally warm up. This is so cold in here. How are you doing? How are you doing, Caesar? Time to show off my latest acquisition gift from my friend Liz. Fitness pizza in my mouth. I like it. All right, we're going to start with uh, just doing some stretching. We're going to start with the world's greatest stretch. Why is it the world's? Oh, have this chair. Why is the world's greatest stretch? Five million stretches in one. All right. So, one foot forward, both hands on one side of the foot. We're going to press our hips forward to stretch our hip flexors. We're going to hold this for a few seconds. All right, hand closest to the foot goes up. Ooh, stretching open, opening that chest. Bring it back down. The other hand comes up. Ooh. Ooh. Hand comes back down. Hand on the other side of the foot. Lean back. We're going to get a little more hamstring action in here. Flexing the foot. And let's come back forward. So both hands on one side, pressing the hip forward, stretching the hip flexor. Let's open up. 
Hand comes down, other side. Hand comes down, hand on each side of the foot. Lean back, flex the foot. Hamstring stretch. Let's come back, put your foot back into plank. You can do a little downward dog if you like. Let's go to the other side. Foot comes forward, both hands on one side of the foot. Pressing the hip flexor forward, pushing the hips forward to stretch the hip flexor. How about that? Hand closest to the foot comes up, opening up the chest. Hand back down. Ooh, crack, snapple, pop. Crack, snapple. <laughs> opening up on the other side. When was the last time I had a snapple? They still make snapple, right? Hands on both sides of the feet, lean back. I think Snapple still exists, but it's been so long since I've had one, I don't know. Let's come forward. Pressing the hips forward. I just think it's funny when it's like something that was prevalent in my youth. Like, you think it disappeared, but it's still there. Like, I went to the grocery store a month or two ago and I saw Aquanet. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize Aquanet still existed. Twist up, open the chest. Hand down, other hand up. Woo, don't let your balance. Hand down, split the foot. Hand on each side. Lean back, hamstring stretch. Come back, put the foot back. Go on down the dog. You can pedal the feet a little bit too if you want. All right, aqua that snapple. Want to hear about it? All right, snapple is still a thing, good to know. Because I know there's like that Nantucket tea or whatever. I figured that, I don't know, I thought maybe they overtook them. All right, so this next move is gonna be very intense. You're gonna need a wall. Preferably you would have um, books, or your, I mean preferably you'd have your yoga blocks. Your um, Kleenex boxes are not gonna help you on this one. Um, so you can either do it without, or if you preferably have um, some sort of uh, like heavy book, two books, you want two books. Um, what we're going to do, to be honest, if your flexibility is not that good, you'll be just fine with the wall. So what you're going to do is you are going to bend over and you're going to get yourself so you're as close as you can pressing against the wall. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold, we're going to press our back into the wall for a count of 10. And you're going to look at, watch my booty if you're not focusing on your own thing. All right, so we're going to do that for 10 seconds. Then we're going to relax, letting our back go farther down the wall. And then we're going to press again, relax, press, relax. And we'll do that three or four times. So again, if you have yoga blocks or books that you can use to elevate your feet off the ground, it'll just give you a little more range of motion to bend forward. If you really tighten your back, it won't make that much of a difference, okay? Um, so I have my blocks about a foot against the wall, okay? And depending on where your flexibility is, you may have them closer and farther away from the wall. So very carefully, you're gonna step towards the wall, okay? On your blocks or books if you have them. And we're gonna press our back into the wall. Here we go, 10, nine, Eight, press as hard as you can. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, let your back slide down. All right, press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, let's slide down. One more time. Press. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, sink down. Bend your knees slowly, come out of it. Shake it out. Woo! How's that feeling? All right. So let's keep it going. We are going to do some uh, glute bridges. So you can have your hands by your sides, you can have them up in the air if you want more of a balance challenge. 
just guys gonna press pause, all right? Heels, feet flat on the floor, and we're just gonna do 15 glute bridges. Here we go. One, getting a nice straight line between your knees and your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, squeeze my glutes to the top, five, four, three, two, not hyperextending, one, take a break. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to flip over and we're going to get into Superman. All right, I'm going to keep my arms on the ground. I'm not going to lay, raise them. I'm going to focus on really raising the, the leg. All right, but you need to keep your core engaged so that you're not going to start arching your back, okay? So think about pressing your hips into the ground as you're raising your foot, just to emphasize not arching your back. So press your pelvis into the ground. And we're going to do 10 raises on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't rotate your hip. Eight to get more range of motion. Keeping your hip into the ground. Nine and 10. That may have been 11. My apologies. All right. Other side. Pressing your pelvis into the ground. Three, two, one. One, two. Three, four, five, keep your core engaged. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it out. Child's pose, shake out your hips if you need to. All right. We're going to do some seated knee crunches. Okay, so just arms out. Bring your knees in, towards your chest, see if you can get them really close. We're gonna do 15, do a little core work here. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Back straight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna take your Kleenex box or your yoga block or your book or what have you. So the closer you are to the block, the harder it is. The closer your feet are to the block or, you know, the easier. But your, your feet need to be, you just have to have your feet on the block. All right, so get to a moderate straddle. Okay, it's not my wide straddle, but it's decent. So with my hands in front of my glutes sitting tall, I'm going to raise the leg up and over, and we're going to do 10 on each side. All right? Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Now, if you don't have a block, you can have anything. A ball, a pillow. This is four. Five. Six, sitting tall. Just need some sort of target to go over. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Shake it up. I bet your hip flexors are feeling that one. Ooh. All right. Let's go to the other side, shall we? See if you can keep your feet flexed. I mean, you want to do fancy toes at the point. I don't really care. <laughs> All right. Sitting tall. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, this music is weird, <laughs> eight, weird outros, nine, last one, ten, whew, quads feeling that one? I bet they are. All right. Excellent job. Woo. Kleenex blocks will be a little taller than the other block. 
which is why it's a good time to say, you should invest in some yoga blocks. Relatively low investment, a lot of pleasure uses, and I have whole workouts about just using the yoga block in non-yoga ways. You should check it out, they're a lot of fun. All right, so now for the shameless self-promotion. What we're gonna do now is, we're gonna work on some back mobility, all right? So we're gonna start in our plank, and move to our downward dog. Now you can have your feet a little wider apart uh, for more basic support. So I have left shoulder width apart. So we're gonna go from downward dog, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, going into upward dog. So toes on the ground, core engaged to protect the back, leaning back slightly, emphasizing that curvature in the back. So come back up, go to downward dog, so we're gonna do this four more times. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Upward dog. Back. Three. Picking up the pace just a little bit. Four, moving a little faster. Last one, five, moving faster but with control. All right. Let's come on down. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put one hand down, one elbow down, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach around, come back, thread the arm through. Come back up. Arm reach around, stretch the lip, come on back, thread the needle. Do that one more time on the side. Reach up and around, thread through. Notice that my head and shoulder are getting down to the ground when I thread through. Let's go to the other side. Reaching up and around, thread through. Moving up and around, stretching that lat, reaching through. One more time, reaching up and around. Come on through. Come back up. Let's go forward. All right, so I'm gonna be hips forward on my knee, arms in front. We're gonna open the book, twisting back. Two, three, shoulders by, down by your side, not near your ears. Four, five, let's do five more. Four, notice that my head is following my hand. Three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side, all right? Hips forward, torso straight, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on some shoulder stuff. How you doing? Oh, what was hard? <laughs> I missed what was hard. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on some shoulder mobility. First thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna stand facing the wall. I'm about a foot and a half, two feet from the wall. I'm gonna put my hands up in the air on my fingers, okay? So, like a cat. And we're gonna slowly bring our torso close to the wall. So I'm trying to bring my torso closer with my head. And just slowly coming in, coming back out. Do a little cat stretch. Five, I see five more. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right? Now what we're going to do is just stand. Um, my shoulder is not directly up against the wall. It's pretty close. Shapes are chilly. All right? So if you can keep your shoulder against the wall for most of it, that's cool, but you want to just be close, all right? And I'm going to tilt the camera up a little bit. Oh, here, there you go. So, we're going to swing the arm up and over, over and back, all right? We're going to do that five times on each side. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Up. And over, back. If you can't get your arm all the way around, if you can't make the full circle, just do what you can. Work on your range of motion. Work making sure there's not pain. Okay, this is number three. Four. Last one, five. You're also wiping down your wall. Nice and clean now. If you have any dirt, go ahead and grab a towel and wipe it off. We're going to go the other way. Here we go. Palm against the wall. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. And five. Nice. Oh, all right. So, let's do some hugs. So we're going to bring the arms apart. Bring our arms as, back as, as far as we can go. Bring our arms as close together as we can. Give a hug. Can't wait till we can all give hugs again. Let's go the other way. So we're going to move a little faster. Now you're not throwing your limbs. We've done this for warm-ups before. You're not just throwing your limbs against the range of motion. You're moving with control, but you're moving a little faster each time. Okay? So with control, really emphasizing and the range of motion on these. It's two more each side. And last one, shake it out. All right? Now we're going to reach up. And reach back. Making sure that you're not sticking your butt out to emphasize anything. Keeping your back nice and straight. Core engaged. So we're going to start high, low. Thinking about increasing your range of motion each time. We're doing the first few slow. With control. Everything's with control. All right. Last five. We're going to start to pick up the pace. Up. Down, up, down. Three more. Two, one. Shake it out. All right. I want you to grab your chair. I'm going to use my bench because it's here and I'll put it on to my other chair. So this is where it will help you have a stick. All right. And if you're like me, this is going to feel fantastic. All right? If you're very stiff, you might be like, oh, I hate this. This is horrible. All right, so I'm going to have my elbows on the chair, okay, the edge of the chair. My palms are facing me. I'm holding on to the stick. You can do this without a stick. You can try it with a towel. You'll just have to work harder to provide the tension, okay? My knees are on the ground, and I'm going to slowly sink my head through my shoulders, keeping my core engaged. Holding onto the stick, keeping your elbows maintained in the right position, not flaring out. So you can take a break and then try to sink a little lower. Again, not letting your core just sink to the floor, keeping your core engaged. Protecting your back. All right, relax, try to go a little farther. Relax, one more time. With your head down in neutral spine, relax. Now I want you to bring your right hand towards you and push your left hand away. Ooh, my wrist. <laughs> bring it back. Let's go to the other side. Bring it 
way back. So you push, you bring one wrist inward, one wrist away, like you're making little semicircles. All right, slowly come up. All that time staring at a glowing screen. I feel like it feels so good for me. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, um, or similar thing, on the ground. You're gonna get on your belly. All right, so now my hands, can you even see that? Let me flip over. Let's go back. I've got shitty lighting today, my apologies. Oh, how's it going, Sammy? All right. So what we're going to do now is, you're going to keep your core engaged while you're on your stomach, okay? So I have my hands sort of like equidistant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my one hand, my right hand, close to one edge, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot on the end that is near that hand. So then I'm going to raise my left arm, pivoting into the ground like this. All right, so let's do two more times. Keeping your core engaged as you lift. All right, now I'm going to move my hand, my right hand farther in, I'm going to do the same thing. So lift the left side. Two. So notice the hand position has changed relative to the pivot point. Slightly different feel. I'm going to move to the other side. So my left hand is going to move closer to that end. And I'm going to keep my core engaged, raising the right hand. Two. Pressing your pelvis into the ground, not letting your back arch. Three. Moving the left hand in a little bit. Here we go. Three, raising the right hand. Pivoting on that end point. Two. One. Shake it out. Child's pose. Shake it out, shake it out. So if you have a book, if that's going to be comfortable, I want you to try this next move. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to rest with your shoulders on your yoga block or your book. Or if your Kleenex box is full, you can put your head on your Kleenex box. You're going to relax your shoulders. Right now my head is off the ground, or on the ground, I'm sorry. And we're just going to raise it, chuck, tuck, <laughs> chucking your chin in, tucking your chin in, and just keeping your head raised off the ground, okay? So we're going to do that for 20 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and wait. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. Holding it, holding it, holding it. Tuck the chin while you're keeping your head up. I actually have no idea how many seconds this is. Let's do another five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Woo! Who are you holding your head up? It can be so hard. Oh, goodness. All right. That's all I'm going to do for neck today. So if you want to do a few neck rolls, just sort of. Oh, yeah. Slowly roll the neck. So for the last few minutes, what we're going to do is I'm going to put my stuff away. Ah, grab some water if you need it. Smoke if you got weight. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> the last move, if you have, um, a pillow is okay, but I would say like a couch cushion would be better. I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my bolster. A pillow's good, but you want something with a little more, well, okay, with a little more heft to it. But before we do that, 
we're going to do is we're going to get in quadruped position and we're going to rock forward and back. My fingers are facing away from me. Okay. Rocking back and forth. All right, so rotating around those wrists. So now we're doing little circles. Let's go the other way. Let's do five slow circles in each direction. Keeping my head neutral spine. All right, let's have the fingers. Um, we're going to put the backs of our hands on the ground with our fingers facing towards me. All right, this can be really intensive on your hands. So if you want to use your cushion or anything for that, just to take some of the pressure off of the backs of your hands, you can go ahead and do that. And lean forward and back. Whew. Working on that wrist mobility. All right, slowly make some circles. Again, take your time. If this is too intensive, put some cushioning underneath. Then go through the other way. All right, take a break, shake it out. Have your fingers point towards each other, okay? We're gonna do this one more time. So forward, back, you got that. Other one out of the way. Oh, the lighting in here sucks. <laughs> what I do in the shadows, stretching and mobility. Four, five. All right, do some circles. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. We're going to work on a little bit of wrist strengthening to finish. This is where you grab your bolster or your pillow or whatever. So we're going to do the same thing. And as, what I want you to do is I want you to lean forward. And what I want you to think about is pressing, actively pressing your fingers into the cushion, okay? So making sure that you don't just collapse on your wrists. So actively engaging, not just your palms, but your fingers too, pressing into the cushion, leaning forward, all right? Here we go. Press and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, relax. Let's do that one more time. Actively pressing, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, press those fingers, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo, how are your wrists feeling? All right. Let's finish with a little cat cow. So this is it. This is my mobility flow for today. A little bit of strength moves in there. No dumbbell involved. I'm a total asshole. Apologize. I misinformed you. I used everything except. Maybe I'll send you to the other blocks for your birthday. Let's go to child's pose. Press your heels against your butt, butt against your heels, press your arms into the floor. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this made you smile and, I don't know if it made you sweat, but it made you feel limber and feel like kicking digital dollars by my PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, or sign a post office uh, check or money order for $19.95 to PO Box 666 at Jane Reaction Fitness Industries. Um, we'll send your CD of uh, 80 streams out to you. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. You are that much stronger and more flexible. 
for coming up. It was so much fun to work with friends and family. Mary, it was so good to work out with you. Everyone who joined, thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Stay remembered, folks. Happy February. Love you. Bye.